A few months ago, we tried the most color emails from the Cheesecake Factory, and today, we're gonna do the total opposite and do... We're gonna try the lowest color emails at the Cheesecake Factory. It's time to get skinny. Yeah, let's put on our journalist hats and turn into a news reporter for the local news station. Thanks for tuning in to Alabac County. I'm assuming that's a county somewhere. On today's news, there's nothing really happening in this town of 2,000 people, so we're gonna be just trying to mail some Cheesecake Factory in the city nearby, so yeah. Yeah. We decided it was our obligation to pray to Demeter before entering the Cheesecake Factory. If you aren't aware, she's an ancient Greek goddess of food and agriculture and like just skinny things. So yeah. We went to the Cheesecake Factory on a Sunday afternoon, so it was quite busy. And I wanted to include a little pro tip in the beginning of this video. If you have to wait to be seated, use the bathroom. Because once you sit down, you're going to want to start ordering ASAP. So go to the bathroom before you go to the table. If you didn't know, Cheesecake Factory has a skinny, licious <gasps> menu which is our collection of fresh and delicious menu options with lower calories and signature rich taste. All 590 calories or less. I've actually ordered the chicken pasta off the Skinny Licious menu before. And I gotta say, it was really good. So I was excited to dive deeper. It is quite sad that we're only ordering stuff on the Skinny Licious menu because the actual menu is like 30 pages, whereas the Skinny Licious menu is just a fold over. Very small compared to the actual menu, but... You know what? I was committed, so I was fine with it. I felt limited. I felt like I was being held back. Which but, was triggering. But it's okay. We saw that they had skinny cocktails. Is that how you say that? Cocktails. Cocktails. I guess sometimes you say cockatiels, I feel like. Okay, so cocktails. Yeah. I got a mojito. This has 150 calories. And then you can say what you got. I got a skinny <laughs> margarita. This also has 150 calories. The skinny margarita was honestly so good. I don't like super sweet cocktails, so I actually preferred how it was a little bit more toned down. It wasn't like you were just drinking syrup. I actually preferred this more than a regular margarita. And I even drank with the salt on the side, and I felt like I was on vacation. But you were actually just at the Cheesecake Factory in the town of Omaha, Nebraska. I don't remember ever having a mojito, but I also forget a lot of things. So, didn't know what to expect, but it was really good, guys. It felt very refreshing, and I actually even pondered on the idea of whether or not the drink even had rum in it. It just tasted like I was drinking water with mint in it. Did you feel like it was skinny? If that was just the regular mojito, would you be like, oh, this is good, or could you tell it was diet? I wouldn't even second guess that if I ordered that anywhere. I would just think, oh, it's natural, it's good. I love it. So far, we're skinny and winning. Because, <laughs> like, they rhyme. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the bread basket came, and I was going to get some. But, then but Jake... you can't have any. You can't have any. I didn't know that was part of this video, but we weren't allowed to eat the bread because it's not on the skinny licious menu. But it's not even on the regular menu. It's not on any of the menus. I'm not trying to control people's diets. Okay. You are, though. Just kidding, we just really wanted to, we just wanted to commit to the Skinny Licious experience, and I'm just stereotyping everyone who regularly eats from the Skinny Licious menu, they wouldn't eat the bread. So we had to fit their lifestyle, you know? Diet culture vultures. <laughs> That's what we are today. We got chicken taquitos for our appetizer. This has 390 calories. These are crispy corn tortillas filled with grilled chicken, green chili, corn, onion, cilantro, and cheese served with avo avocado cream and salsa verde. Right away after munching on this, I was like, wow, this just tastes good. I wouldn't really think of it to be on the skinny licious menu. They weren't lying when they said that these items would still have the rich Cheesecake Factory taste because these hit. They're honestly so good. It felt like almost like you were eating nachos because the shell was so crispy. Just all really added together really well. There was one more taquito left, which means Lucas got two and then I had one and I got one more left. So I I dipped all around the sauce, ate that taquito, and was living in here's another life hack, guys. If you're eating with people, <laughs> you should always take the very last item because that means that you get all the sauce. Oh, yeah. So you you scammed everyone, but no one was aware of it. Like, Lucas wasn't even aware of that I scammed him, but I scammed him. I didn't even know you were going through all of these, like, things in your head about how to manipulate me, but I just fell right into the little trap. You weaved the web, and I got stuck in it.
<laughs> but you still did, did have some of the sass. So. Uh, we made sure to clean these plates completely. If we're eating off the skinny delicious menu, we're gonna eat every last drop. I'm not gonna leave this cheesecake factory and not be full. I gotta say, even that sauce on its own, like it wasn't that good, but it was pretty good. Our next course was the tossed green salad, which is mixed greens, assorted vegetables, tomato, and croutons with your choice of dressing. We chose the skinny delicious ranch. This has 220 cows. Cows means calories. I mean, obviously, for some reason, I thought it was funny explaining what cows means. It just is like an, a, a short inversion to calories. Okay, on. Let's just continue, okay? Now, if you work at Cheesecake Factory, can you let us know if there's actually such thing as skinny licious ranch? Because it just tastes like normal ranch. That was good. See, if that's skinny licious ranch, might as well eat that each time because it tastes the exact same. I love that little thing they bring it in. Reminds I know. Me, reminds me of Aladdin. It reminds me of me being on this train traveling across the world in the 50s. And I'm just like so rich that there's like someone bringing me sauces on that. Oh yeah. That would be the life if you owned one of those. Owned a train? No, the little thing. Oh, yeah. Does anyone watching own one of those? And do you actually use it every night when you have salad? No one does. I bet you one person watching does. And you're living. And we're all jealous of you. Lucas tossed that bad boy up. I remember when I was eating this salad, I was being like, oh my gosh, this is so good. But it is just a regular salad. But salads with ranch and croutons are always so good. It's so simple, but it's always hits. To give Cheesecake Factory credit, it looks like there's some spinach in there. Like it's not just mm -hmm. that one type of lettuce that has no nutritional value. Iceberg. Like, yeah, there's some like something in it to give it um nutritional value. And it was just so good. And something that I found out, guys, is that the croutons are what make it. If you taste a crouton by itself, it's like, oh, did they cut up grilled cheese and put it in this salad. I know, croutons are the best part about a salad. If you just had croutons and ranch, it would be good. Mm. Then some drama happened. Who gets it? Mark for scissors? <laughs> we really did clean these plates up. We went to get our money's worth. The little ranch platter had some ranch stuck to the sides and I caved and had a piece of bread, even though I don't, I know it doesn't fit the skinny delicious aesthetic. And I dunked it into the ranch, so we didn't waste anything. Nothing was wasted, which is good for the environment. Eco-friendly people. You know, we want to save the world for the future and other generations. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Oh. We got the grilled steak medallions. Is that how you say that? Mm hmm What's a medallion? I know it's like a jewel, but I think that's just what you call the little things of chicken. The little things of steak. Oh, okay. This is served with fresh asparagus, shiitake mushrooms, which Lucas has a conspiracy theory that they're actually just white mushrooms, sauteed cherry tomatoes, crushed croutons, mashed potatoes, and wine sauce. This has 440 calories. Just from looking at the plate, it looks expensive. And it actually is kind of expensive. It's $23. I thought that's pretty effing expensive. Yeah. But nonetheless, it was really good. I actually didn't even expect there to be potatoes at the bottom, but there was mashed potatoes at the bottom. And it was yummy. Um, I don't know if I would order this, but I still enjoyed it. One of the things that I was curious about is how the portions weigh smaller, or like, do they just taste so healthy, but it didn't taste so healthy. And the portion is smaller than regular Cheesecake Factory portions, but regular Cheesecake Factory portions are already huge. Yeah. So taking away from that doesn't really matter. You don't feel like you're eating such a small plate, luckily. I've been recently really getting into steak. I used to always think I hated it, but certain steaks, this is one of them, are so good. Like the steak actually just hit so hard. The vegetables were good. Just dipping it into the mashed potatoes was exquisite. We're both mushroom fans oh yeah and like jacob did mention briefly i don't think those are shiitake mushrooms but correct me if i'm wrong i think those are just white mushrooms and that's okay but i don't know why they claim they're something that they're not maybe they claim the shiitake mushrooms to make it seem like it's fancy but then yeah. again i don't even know what shiitake mushrooms looks like so i'm just saying that looks exactly like a white mushroom so do they all look the exact same so how do we ever know which is which so you're saying that if things look the same they aren't different that's really problematic behavior thinking thought process <laughs> I didn't even realize I just said that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I got the skinny licious shrimp soft tacos, three soft corn tortillas filled with shrimp, avocado, tomato, onion, cilantro, and crema, served with escabashi vegetable salad.
This has 510 calories. One of my teachers used to tell me to not say and when you say a, a number in the 100s. So I said that wrong. This has 510 calories. I finally listened to my third grade teacher. I got Wait, can we take a moment before? If I was watching this video, every time people said skinny licious, I would be laughing because <laughs> whenever I hear people ordering from the skinny licious menu, I like giggle in my brain because it's like it's actually called skinny licious. Like that that <laughs> that name is actually hilarious. I know I actually think them naming it that kind of it makes it a barrier for a lot of people to order this. Think of like these I'm just picturing this 55 year old dad who's been diagnosed with high cholesterol. He thinks he should eat healthier things, but he's not going to be at dinner ordering this skinny licious shrimp tacos. It's just embarrassing. Does it really have to be called? that well it puts a whole stigma on it even the waiter kind of embarrassed me so i ordered my drink and she said the regular one of the skinny licious and i just felt so embarrassed no i didn't feel so embarrassed but something is so just dumb about saying the word i'll have the skinny licious one i know it just feels <laughs> pathetic i know it's like what am i doing am it's I humiliating to... yeah it is <laughs> But yeah, continue. I gotta say, looking at this on a plate, it does look like a good portion, but I, I was kind of thinking this while we were eating it. It's because they have this whole tray for the tacos, this big bowl for the vegetables. Like somehow they make it seem like it's a bigger portion. You know what I mean? Whereas if you had this on a plate at home, you'd be like, this looks so effing small, but like they somehow just give the illusion that it's it's more food than it is. That's true. It's all one big game. <gasps> Mind freak. Chris Angel. Oh my God, because he does mind tricks on people. That's what Cheesecake was doing to us. Yeah. Chris Angel is probably the person creating the menu. And he's a magician. And the magicians are the devils. <laughs> <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> <laughs> but I gotta say the tacos were so good like they had so much flavor like I was just so wowed like how am I eating this skinny delicious food and loving it so much like your tongue was just experiencing so many different textures and seasonings I loved it. The vegetables weren't anything special, but there was some pickled vegetables, which is it did add it added some spice. You know what I mean? It's just vegetables at the end of the day. I also had a shrimp taco, and it tasted like a shrimp, a normal shrimp taco. It was good. It had like actually a bunch of stuff in it. It wasn't basic, which was good. Mm-hmm. You wanna see the cuts? <laughs> Then like Lucas said, the vegetables on the side, you need to add something. Chris Angel, because he's the person that creates the menu, add something to it, like some gravy. It's not gonna be that many calories. Also, just in case anyone's stressed out there, we've divided our meals 66% to 33%. So we each got one third of each other's and we made sure no one got more than the other person. Just in case anyone was stressed. Well, I was stressed when Lucas got the tacos because I was like, wait, there's three of them and one, two of us and there's one extra, so the one it's like so we split the, the taco, but then it always ruins it. I know, it's just like, it's not even fun, so then, but do we, we can't throw it away, we can't just waste it, yeah. so, so then I decided, I like, tried to use my mind, like, okay, like, math, how am I gonna do this? And I was like, one thought to two thoughts. And then we are like, oh, that works. <laughs> We scuffed everything down except for Lucas's vegetables. I do like vegetables, but I just didn't eat, the, eat them because they were just so boring and I was used to salty steak, so, uh... And we had to save room for skinny licious dessert. That's true. Skinny and winning? Like I think I we're like, for sure winning and skinny. Skinny and winning! <laughs> We realized when our dessert was on the way that we could actually peek into the kitchen if we stood up a little bit. And we didn't want to do that because it just felt creepy. So to make it less creepy, Lucas grabbed my phone and took a video of the kitchen and we're gonna play it slow-mo. Three, two, one. All I know is that no one's seen the Kitchen of Cheesecake Factory before, so this is an exclusive, and yeah, I, we might uh, get sued. I don't see anything weird happening, though. So Let's I think... see. I feel like there is going to be someone online who will find something. I'm just kidding. No, I think everything was good. <laughs> Imagine if you did look over there and it was just disgusting. <laughs> just dust. I do love when restaurants allow you to see the kitchen because it just gives a level of trust. This dessert actually wasn't on the Skinny Licious menu. Very sorry about that. But it was the lowest calorie dessert option. I didn't know this, but they, you can get a bowl of fresh strawberries for about $8. But you do get whipped cream with it. But obviously the $8 is still ridiculous. But they do have this as an option. This has a luxurious 250 calories. 250 calories. 
It actually was so good. Like, obviously, I've already had strawberries and whipped cream before in my life, but it's like one we should all be returning to more often. Again, like, this is the 200 calorie skinny, skinny dessert, but like, I still felt like I was treating myself, you know? Never once did I feel like I was holding back or something, you know? <laughs> uh oh. I see that. <laughs> I don't know if I'd ever get this again because it sounds dumb to me spending $8 on strawberries, but this whipped cream was so thick and delicious and it was actually the perfect dessert because I felt perfect after. I didn't feel gross. I didn't feel like I wanted to just lay down, but I, I just felt good. We have to all remember, fruit is nature's dessert. Yeah. One of the best things about this dessert is that they give you so much whipped cream so there's no stress of like, am I using too much? Is the person across from me gonna be mad? At the end, there was so much whipped cream left. I just ate the strawberry with whipped, like so much whipped cream, it was ridiculous. I know, I am glad they didn't skimp on the cream. Without the whipped cream, it would have been a fail. Dumb, all it is is strawberries. Yeah. The chuck came and it came to a whopping $102.33. It would have been like $80, but we got two drinks and they were each like $10. We scored out of that cheesecake. That's like a trendy tome. We went outside and prayed again to the goddess Demito because she provided this food. Thank you again. All together, we consumed 2,110 calories. That is nothing compared to the 11,000 calories from the other Cheesecake Factory video. My opinion is that the Skinny Licious menu is giving a little bit of sacrifice, but not too big of a sacrifice where you're gonna leave it behind. I left feeling satisfied. Like, I did not feel like I ate some boring diet food. Like, it was so rich and good still. That's all facts, no cap. No tea, no shade. I think I'm gonna go with my thick thighs. I just got, um, thigh implants. So I need to massage those. Bye. See ya.